Featherweight Championship Showdown between Alexander Volkanovsky and the Korean Zombie, Chan Sung Jung. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender. For a long time, this man believed he was the number one 145-pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with it. For this, our main event of the evening. Chung is two years the elder. The rest of the numbers are effectively identical. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, presenting the challenger, the Korean Zombie Chan Song. Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Alright, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. Takedown defense holds up. That uppercut landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by Patel. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And they separate. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice elbow. Big knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Chan Sung Jung. 
Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop the seat. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. He's getting the ground and pound going pretty good here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by the Korean Zombie. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Just over two minutes, round one. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. 50 total strikes have now landed for Chan Sung Jung. Good punch lands. Spinning back fist. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, no! When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land a beautiful punch. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. 45 seconds remain in the round. Hook shot lands. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. He got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Switch knee lands to their body. And they separate. Well, the Korean Zombies hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, He's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? All right, fight. round two. Jump gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact but barely, look how wobbly he is. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, 
Well, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, really nice work to keep Bisley off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bosch. All right, hammer fist here, five open. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 74 total strikes and counting have now landed for the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. And a pretty good clip as well. He is striking at a 60% accuracy rate against Alexander Volkanovsky. a master in transition. Well, the Korean Zombie's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Three minutes to go in the round. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by the Korean Zombie. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Spinning back fist. Oh! Big diving punch, man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Kozlanovski is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Zombie. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Volkanovski's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Zomp. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch. Well, the Korean Zombie's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, look at this. Jumps over into side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flu choker. I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep.
Let's go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He blocks the punch. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. The Korean Zombie's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by the Korean Zombie. with the ground and pound strike. Back to the feet now. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, a lot of volume tonight, as expected. 162 total strikes have now landed for Chan Sung Jung. Connecting at a 68% clip thus far against Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, the Korean Zombie's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Volkanovski. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 90 seconds to go. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Relentless pressure from the top by the Korean Zombie. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Volker. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, 
Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard. But if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready? Ready? Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. And he connects there with a punch, so... Whoa! on the hips here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Volkanovski. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, Volkanovski's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. I mean, how many can he take? So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Chan Sung Jung. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by the Korean Zombie. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Solid strike on the ground. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. He's having his way with him here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurting. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, 
Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well oh. he throws. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. There by Volker. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great. Oh. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the horn. So the round is over, and now the impetus is on the cut men and the corner men to try to keep this fighter in this fight. Swelling now on both eyes and only getting worse. The vision most definitely is impaired. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. I want you to look for the takedown, okay? Final round, you ready? Fifth and final round. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body. And it's oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. So by way of knockout, he gets it done tonight. There is the UFC featherweight champion. All smiles, no surprise there. Gets it done in a big way tonight as he wins the belt by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotti has called a stop to this contest at 31 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, the Korean zombie, Chan Song Chan. So how about it? We got a new UFC featherweight champion, and you weren't even looking at your phone. You saw the whole thing. I saw the whole thing. I was stuck watching this guy. This guy got off. This guy had my full attention. He's a great fighter, a great performance to become the champion of the world.